Well, downtown Youngstown's brought many new businesses, some of which are trying fresh and modern takes on dining. But a local business owner is remaking one building into its original use, a German restaurant. First News reporter Molly Reed takes us back to the future on Phelps Street. Next to Susie's downtown is a building that hasn't seen light in decades. This used to be a German restaurant in 1920s, so it kind of worked out perfectly. When we were doing the demo, we found placemats that steaks were 85 cents. Christian Reinhardt, the owner of Susie's, had been using the space as storage. When he came up with the idea to create a German restaurant in the space, he found hidden pieces of reusable history. The plaster maker was uh, from Germany. Um, he immigrated in 1902. We looked him up. His seal is still up on the wall. We're going to highlight those things during this build out. We found the wood beams uh, under all the drop ceilings. Upstairs were doctors and lawyers' offices and a bookbinder's office, with books still unwrapped and untouched on the shelves. One large space will be turned into an invite only speakeasy. Bar games like axe throwing will be in another room, and offices will also be rented out. Downstairs will be Rhine House, where you can expect polka music, long tables, liters of beer, and food. We're going to do pierogies with 20 different fillings, and then 30 different toppings on top of them. So we're going to be doing a lot of uh, fresh, made in front of you, baked goods too. Christian hopes an atmosphere like Rhine House's will bring in a more mature crowd. I think it's important. The hotel's done a great job of adding to that. Cavelli Center brings in a diverse crowd. But during weekdays, the restaurant will actually be giving back to the city's younger community. For lunch, we're not going to be open. We will be uh, donating our kitchen space to Schofen uh, School. So we'll be doing a partnership with them. The goal is to get Rhine House open in September. We're going to close the street and do an Oktoberfest anyways even if we're not open yet. And we're hoping once the street Phelps closes, uh, which looks like it might, um, we would have a large beer garden out into Phelps. In Youngstown, Molly Reed, WKBN 27 First News.